Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. We all know Elden Ring is already an amazing game, yes. But maybe you wished for more ways to personalize your character. With body and armor mods, we can do that, especially for female characters. In this video, I'll show you how to install these mods on the cracked version of the game, the pirated one, and how to get them in the game using Cheat Engine, because it's hard to get the armors that mods replaced on if you just started the game. First, you'll need the game. I'm using the El Amigos Crack. You can download the game from trusted repack websites like Fitgirl. Be sure to follow their instruction carefully to avoid installation issues. Next, let's get ready to install the mods. First, download this file, UXM Selective Unpacker. It's available on Nexus and I put the link in the video description. Now, open the downloaded file with WinRAR or 7-zip and extract this folder inside it wherever you like. After that, open it and inside it, run this file. Double click on it. Then on this window in Executable Path, select Browse and search for your Elden Ring installation directory where the X file is, Elden Ring.x file, this one. Find it, select it and open it. After that, click on Unpack, this one. This will unpack the Elden Ring archives. So make sure you have enough storage in your drive. And be patient, this will take a while, like 20 minutes. Okay, after that's finished, click on Patch. And wait a few minutes, then we are done. Close this. Now get ready to download any mod you want and install it. This mod is replaces on one of the main armors for our character, so it's easy to locate and try it on. So I download this. In Files section, download the corresponding file. This is the downloaded mod file, and this is my Elden Ring game installation directory, after I unpack the archives. We have a Parts folder. This is the folder we gonna put our mod files in it. Open the mod file and locate the DCX files. Every mod has them. And put them inside this parts folder in your game installation directory. It will ask to replace, say yes, and done. You install the mod. Open the game, and select that armor we installed the mod on. Then you can see the change. Working perfectly fine. All other mods, the armor and the body mods, install this way. Now, let's say you installed the armor mod, right? Like this one. It's so beautiful. But you don't have the armor in game, so you can't equip it and see the mod, right? For that, it's best we use cheat engine to get the armor, get the item we need. Download Cheat Engine from this website. I did put the link in video description. This is the file, install it. It's simple, just follow the instructions. After that, download this Elden Ring Ultimate Cheat Engine table from Nexus. You can download other ones as well, but this is the one I use and I put the link in the video description. This is the file. Extract its content anywhere you like. Now, inside this folder, open Windows, if you're using Windows, and open this file with Cheat Engine. After it's open, you have to run the game as well. When we're working with this, game has to be open. After game is running, return to Cheat Engine, and select the process to open. Click on this icon. Here, you should see the Elden Ring.x. Select it, and open. Then here, 
click on this box to enable. Next, check this box, give yourself item and resources. Then check item give and this one, add item individually. On this new window, we have weapons, armor, talismans, goods, magic, ashes of war. So if you want to add armor, select armor section. Then on this side, choose which armor you want to add in game. They all here and have names. Select it and click on this Give. Then go to your game and as you can see that armor item is added in your inventory. Now you can equip it. You can also select many of these together by holding control and selecting them one by one, then adding them all at once. Or selecting the first one and holding shift, then selecting the last one and adding them all at once, which is little mad to do, don't. First, you should find out which one your mod replaced on. You can find that info in mod description. Then here, locate that armor items and add them in game, then equip them and have fun. This cheat does many other things, almost anything you can think of, so play around with it and figure it out, it's useful, really useful. And if you have any questions, ask in comments. Thanks for watching, see you in the next video.